Hello everybody, welcome back, Fompler here. And yeah, today I want to pick another lock from uh, the box that Lemon Lock sent me. Or oh, the Lemon. Um, this is the Dome S. And yeah, I picked one on the channel before and I will put a video up here. And yeah, yeah, I'm just excited to see what's inside this one. If it has the rattlesnakes, pins maybe, we will see. So let's get it in vice and get it picked. So see you in a moment. So welcome back in vice. Here's the key again. Looks just fine. Mm, yeah, let's pick it. So I'm using a flat pry bar in 0.8 millimeters, tensioning clockwise and then using a steep hook in 0.6 millimeters the pno5 for multi-pick and one is binding small click good click on two small click on three and i skipped four accidentally but good click on five i think it was four Three feet binding, I think. Yeah, point rotation. I think three is okay, but four jumped up again. Just working on four here. No, I overset three, so I release some tension. So I said five and four. It was a click on three. Four again. Again on four. I thought we had it. Three again. Four again. Three again. And four again. Okay, we are stuck now. So I have a false set, so if I'm oversetting, must have torpedo pins. Which is often the case with dorms, so... and we are open okay so i didn't overset anything just four wasn't set enough already so let's see get this out of the way get pinning tray in here lock out of here yeah i have the key so i will lock it back up i think and 
with these C-clips, I think the best practice is just to try to get in between here. Yeah, like this. Now get the key in. I'm excited now to see what's inside. I hope for rattlesnake pins. It feels like it because it was different every time I picked it. Okay. This is a master wafer, yeah. So that's not so good. So chamber five has a master wafer already. All right, let's put the core here first. All right, let's get the drivers out. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake. Standard. So I would say um, one and five should be standard, maybe three as well. Yeah, three, so, uh, two, sorry. And three, yay! Rattlesnake. So if you have not seen these, um, let me show you these in a moment. And four is also rattlesnake, cool. And five is standard. So yeah, these pins are amazing. So they have moving wafers on a spool and they are just quite a challenge to pick actually. But really cool. Also quite a lot of fun. Mm, I'll leave the springs in. And I have all the standards, it doesn't make sense to check the effectiveness. But as you see, the rattlesnakes are at the perfect position because, yeah, they have to go quite a way up in the lock. Oh, don't drop him. Okay, let's have a look at the key pins. Still. Ah, yeah, and there we see the dome torpedo pins. Torpedo pins. I'll show you this in a moment. And we have a master wafer in chamber five. which I cannot remove because it was on the shear line with the key inserted. So for chambers one, two and five, we have standard pins. And then we have these very nice rattlesnakes in two and three, accompanied by very nice key pins, torpedo pins. If you overset them, it's horrible to get out of them again. Yeah, and um, key pins. I ah, here is a dome specialty as well. Um, maybe you see the bottom of this pin and this one. They have, a, I think, steel insert, so for drill protection. And yeah, all the other key pins are standard. And a wafer I cannot remove. So thanks again, Lemon. Really cool lock here even though it's actually German and coming back all the way from Australia. Nice to see that also the Dome S in, in Australia have the rattlesnake spins. <laughs> so everybody else, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.